advise. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Philippines Uncut, the show where we talk about everything under the sun. I'm Buddy Kunanan. Now, in the past few weeks, we've been focusing on sports, as we here in Philippines Uncut believe that sports is essential to nation building, and therefore we would like to make you, our viewers, aware of the abuse, corruption, and mismanagement in sports that is, number one, causing our athletes to fail, and number two, that is stymieing the ability of the Philippines to perform well in international and local sporting ex uh, exhibitions. Now, um, the past few weeks, you've met many different personalities involved in different sports, swimming, karate do, track and field, and all of them have been saying the same thing, that there is a sickness spreading in all the national sports associations, and this is affecting our athletes and, as I said, the Philippines' ability to perform well in uh, international competitions. And these are just symptomatic of a deeper sickness, a deeper malignancy, a deeper illness, a cancer that is spreading in the very bodies and organizations that are supposed to develop and foster amateur sports. And so tonight in the show, we're fortunate again to have two esteemed guests who will shed light on this topic on this show entitled Power and Control, the Cancer in Sports. And so joining us once again, Mr. Go Tengkok, the President of the Philippine Amateur Track and Field Association and Philippine Karate Do Federation. Of mm -hmm. course, Attorney Sammy Estino, a very uh, accomplished chess player mm -hmm. and counsel for <clears throat> Patafa, PKF, and numerous other uh, national sports associations. Welcome, gentlemen, to Philippines Uncut. Good evening. And uh, it's an honor to have you again here. And I understand that the last few days, there have been very important developments, very crucial developments in, uh, in uh, Philippine amateur sports. But before we go that, it define po natin, Attorney Estino, <clears throat> for our audience who are just tuning in now to this uh, installment of our series on sports. Let's define first uh, sir, the structure of sports very briefly. The PSC, POC, and NSAs. What are these three bodies? What are their roles? And how do they interact with each other? Attorney? Well, uh, uh, these uh, three groups uh, uh, coordinate with its uh, other in the propagation of sports in our country. Uh, first, the Philippine Olympic Committee, the highest uh, sports body in the Philippines, uh, it is the umbrella of all the national sports uh, associations. Uh, as of today, there are 41 registered under the ages of the Philippine Olympic Committee. Now, vis-a-vis -vis these activities of the Philippine Olympic Committee and the NSAs, there is the Philippine Sports Commission that uh, gives funding 
to the activities of these uh, NSAs, particularly the athletes who go to the Sea Games, Asian Games, and uh, the Olympic Games. Uh, the PSC also uh, handles the uh, purchase of equipments of these sports. You know, there are sports that uh, need uh, expensive equipments. Of course, of course. Uh, well, uh, in the case of chess, of which I'm, uh, well, uh, better known, in the Masyadu, because all we have to do is to have uh, chess board. A chess board. <laughs> but now it's, it's becoming <coughs> expensive we have to import chess clocks from Germany, yes. from Singapore, from all over. The yeah. chess clocks, uh, they cost around 4,000 per piece. Okay. Okay. But in the others, like uh, cycling, for instance, and uh, equestrian, I think, <laughs> equestrian about this uh, horseback riding, very uh, expensive. Yon. And kahit for boxing, kailangan po ng rings, ng boxing gloves, ng headgear, and the punching bag. So all of these supposedly are funded by the Philippine Sports Commission. Philippine Sports Commission. Yes. Now, to make it clear lang po for our viewers, the PSC, Philippine Sports Commission, is a government body, while the POC, Philippine Olympic Committee and National Sports Agent uh, Associations are private, non-government yes, organizations. That's correct. Okay, okay. And so the they, funding from PSC flows down to the NSAs. Yes. But the POC, the Philippine Olympic Committee, also has a say in this because I understand that the NSAs will receive funding from the Philippine Sports Commission if they are recognized as official NSAs by the Philippine Olympic Committee. And there lies the problem now. Yes. Because uh, the POC uh, has this tendency lately to discriminate against some NSAs. Yes. There are NSAs whose leaders are not uh, well connected with the leadership of the <coughs> Philippine Olympic Committee. Yes. And these uh, sports leaders are either kicked out of their NSAs, they are not given enough funding, okay. and uh, so on and so forth. Uh -huh. Now, that would have been good if uh, the uh, party affected is the only the NSA leader. Yes. The problem is, the uh, same problem uh, goes all through to the athletes. Of course. And this will affect the campaign of the Philippines for gold medals. In the power struggle, it really is the athletes who suffer because when they withdraw funding to force some of the NSAs to toe the line, yeah, then, of so course, at the end of the day, it's the athletes who suffer. Now, Mr. Go, uh, kayo po ay uh, kilalang kilala po sa, sa track and field. Ito po, for the past two decades, you have been at the head of track and field. And then, lately, you've also become involved in the uh, karate do, sport of karate do. Ano po yung nangyari ngayon sa inyo today sa Philippine Olympic Committee? Well, you know, just only yesterday. Ah, kapon pala, yes, sir. Oh. Uh -huh. eh, nangyari yun, eh... Actually, I was only informed by the media men, not even from the Olympic Committee, that they could not expel me. Ano po yung inyong katungkulan sa Philippine Olympic Committee? Aside from being president of PATAFA and PKF, meron ba kayang official uh, role or duty sa POC? Well, before when I, when I because uh, it's me who helped Mr. Kohango to become the president of the Olympic Committee. Okay. And uh, he, to award to me, he appointed me uh, to be the hunter in the sports and rules. And also, he, uh, he gave me a title of a special assistant to the president. Okay. Well, it is a pangalan lang, parang very powerful. Because I'm the special assistant. And in sports and rules, I'm handling all the technicality, everything. What does that mean for technicality? Ano pong well, you know, uh, every time when we attend the meeting in the international, I was the one representing and uh, I was the one uh, handling all to, almost every time when there is a C game, Asian game, we were the one uh, uh, putting up the criteria. And, you know, for this reason, I can say, Roman, I'm very, very expert in, the, in this uh, technical. Okay. That's why, mm -hmm. you know, it happened, among what was really happening now, the most controversial issue of Dragon Boat. Very uh, involved po kayo dyan. You know all the facts and all the details. Yeah, 